And as you heard him say, with the temperatures dropping to near freezing overnight, sensitive plants are at risk. Meteorologist John Gross gives us some tips on the precautions you can take to protect them. We are at the Gix Nursing Center. We're talking to experts about how to protect your plants and vegetation from a frost. Are there any other home remedies maybe that you do outside of the nursery that well, you might have to pass along? Yeah, if they have lightweight sheets, uh, that they want to throw over their annuals, their seasonal flowers. They want uh, lightweight sheets are good because, again, they allow it to breathe. Uh, if you put plastic on it, it's a no-no because that will actually let the moisture condense underneath the plastic and actually do more harm than good. Okay. Uh, and it can freeze, uh, or you can get a frost, not necessarily a freeze, uh, when the temperatures are above 32 degrees. And that's important to know because it all depends on the dew point. And a lot of times when we check our air temperatures, we're checking it at a higher level than we are at the ground. So the ground at the base sure. can be colder than what the air temperatures are. Mm -hmm. See. So uh, these are the things that you have to remember, but covering them with a lightweight material is, is always the easiest thing to do if they want to extend the bloom time, especially in the tenderer plants, like some of the impatiens uh, and the bedding plants, maybe some of the fleshier leaf begonias uh, and so forth. Geraniums can take a little bit more, but uh, even they have their limit. And with temperatures tonight expected to fall down into the low to mid 30s, you're going to want to take those tips that we just told you to protect your plants and vegetation. We're reporting in Bay City tonight, meteorologist John Gross, WNEM TV5.